Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. I appreciate you. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me, you can text me, you can visit ScorpioPriestess.com, but I will never message you. I will never ask you to buy a reading. Do not get scammed. There are scammers scamming my subs, especially on TikTok. Please, I will never reach out to you. I have Scorpio Priestess 222, Scorpio Priestess 9, and my tarot channel that I am, my Facebook channel that I am going to put in the description as well. If you are curious, they are the only channels I have, okay? There are a lot of people out there pretending to be me, and I'm coming for you if you are a scammer. Um, I got some up my, something up my sleeve, and we will see if you scam any more of my people. So with that being said, let's hop into this energy, Scorpio. We do have some really great energy pulled out here already on the table. Let's start here with your private messages. We are going to see um, what and who is coming towards you in love. I've already pulled energy out for that, and I, but I have some private messages for you. Our affirmation of the day, I forgive my past. I release the future. I live in the present, and I honor how I feel in this moment. Living in the present. Screenshot this. Repeat it to yourself. Say it daily. Say it three times a day, four times a day. I say affirmations all day long. I have trained myself to do that. Here are journal prompts. Screenshot it. Ask yourself these questions. Jot these questions down in your journal. Um, it is a tool that I am using with my when I begin my coaching, and it is also a tool that I'm starting to use for my Facebook group if you would like to join. It is very, very important to write your intentions out, to get things out. Um, there are studies that show only 20% of um, humans at this point actually write intentions out, actually write out um, their feelings and how they feel and their intentions for the day. And this is a major problem. It is so beneficial to jot down what you want to do for the day. What does your day look like? Visualize it before you go to bed at night, when you wake up in the morning. Visualize how you want your day to be. Live in the present moment. Angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I embrace your strength. Strength from the angels, healing from the angels. If you pray and you believe in archangels, I do not want to push my um, beliefs on you. You may want to pray to Archangel Raphael to give you help and guidance. We also have um, Jeremel here, angels of symbols and dreams, life lessons, emotional connections, visions, speaks through signs. One month could be very important. I keep picking up on March 29th. I did yesterday and I am today as well. I feel that time frame is going to have a, a, a big meaning for you all in one way or another in your life. Um, speaks to you through signs. When you feel stuck and need guidance, ask for me. Um, ask for your dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take. You may want to work with amethyst. And um, you may want to pray to this angel if you are looking for guidance, if you are looking for healing. The angels are here to help you. They are here to assist you. They are always around you. If you need help, pray. You will. You may not get an actual Scorpio. This is Archangel Raphael, and I'm telling you this. But you will start getting a feeling. You will start getting a, you know, some kind of nudge. You'll start feeling clearer all of a sudden. So, who is coming towards you? Well, somebody here is coming spontaneously. They could DM you. They could text you. They could email you. It's going to be something that you feel is spontaneous, that they act like is spontaneous, but I don't know. They could spontaneously reach out, 
um, when they're out, they could, if they drink or if they're traveling and they're traveling, um, uh, they're close to your home, it could be very spontaneous. They could want to see you very spontaneously. This person feels you have leverage though, that you have the upper hand. Okay. They're bragging about you. And I feel like for a lot of you, this person feels like you have the upper hand because you made me feel something. This was confusing. They do not know what real love feels like. This person has never been loved by anybody like they were loved by you. They've never felt this before. So they feel like you have the upper hand because for they don't, they, they are afraid to lose their self in love. They're bragging about you. You could do well for yourself. You could do well for yourself financially. You could be very attractive. This person is saying, uh, yeah, me and Scorpio used to blah, blah, blah. Me and Scorpio or Scorpio does this like to the point where this person's friends are like, all right, man, we've heard enough. They're afraid you're going to meet somebody else before they're ready to be with you. This person is desperately afraid that you are going to move on. They could be trying to, um, they could be actually somewhere as well. I don't know. I feel um, for some of you, this person's with somebody who has leverage over them. They're with somebody that has um, some kind of leverage on that money, something like that. Um, at one point, you all had different goals. You were not on the same page with this person. Y'all just could not see eye to eye. You were just never on the same page. They are your secret admirer at this point. This person is watching. They're waiting. They're very attracted to you. They're silenced. They, they are in silence. They're suppressing their feelings. They're hiding their feelings from you. Um, they're hiding their feelings for you from you, but not from other people. They're bragging about you to other people. They're in deep regret for whatever has happened here, however they treated you. They are deeply um, regretful for that. You will have the most beautiful soul, Scorpio. You have the most beautiful soul, and you do, baby. Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me, and you mean the world to me. This person is bragging. They, they don't know how to handle love. They don't know what real unconditional love is. This person only knows conditional love. They also, I feel you're probably the best they've ever had. Sexually, the best they've ever had in general. You um, have, you know, even if you're not wealthy, you have everything. You may always be put together. You could always look nice. You could have some status in your community. You possibly could be wealthy or you do very well for yourself. You do very well in your career. There's something this person brags about, right? Um, I'm going through a physical and emotional ascension. I need some space to rest from my higher perspective. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even though we aren't together, I feel our union. So this person can still feel you even though you are not in the room. They can feel you when you're not in the room. That is a very magical connection when you can feel somebody and they're not there. It is very, it's a beautiful feeling. Tell me about heading towards you. So this person is spontaneously heading towards you. All right. There's something about this person's predictive programming, their belief systems. They could already be married. They could be in a long-term commitment with somebody already, or you were at one time married to this person. This person here, their family values are all fucked up. They look at relationships not in a healthy way. Um, this person here could be literally, um, there's some unavoidable change that's happened in their life and they want to restore balance here. They want to restore harmony. They're removing and purging things out of their life. Wow, good for them. Tell me about upper hand. What is this? Somebody here has the upper hand. Wow. Okay, they could possibly definitely be with somebody who is um, uh, very deceitful, trapping them, very cunning, very crafty. They could be in a situation with somebody here. We have 14, 14 coming straight out the deck together, guys. Need to look that up, please. And it is coming out with deceit, disguise, conceal, right? Persona, putting on a show here, self-interest, self, deceit, again, trap. Somebody could have red hair cunning. Um, something's not right. So this person 
a few things is going or it could be going on. This person feels like you know something about them, um, and it's making them feel all sorts of ways. Their ego is is getting hit. Maybe they showed very vulnerable moments to you and they try to act like they're not that kind of person. There's something here. For a lot of you, this person is with a third party who has a hidden motive, who is crafty, who has the upper hand in some way. Either they keep telling your person, I'm going to tell uh, Scorpio if you do this, or I'm going to tell everybody if you do that, or um, I, you know, I'm taking you for all your money, or you're never going to see the kids again. There's something here going on like that. Okay. This person here um, is bragging to people, telling people, honestly, guys, they fell in love with you. Something could happen at nighttime. They're telling people that you were a wish come true. This is really beautiful. They were, t they, they tell people that you are wish fulfillment to them but something's working against you all. They're trying to be persistent, right? They want to make you, they want to make this real. They want to make this situation real. At one point, I feel like you all were on different pages. Um, you were um, listening to yourself. The divine put in a detour. Obstacles was, was giving you warnings. Um, your inner navigational system was telling you that this person didn't want the same thing you did. Um, things are stuck right now. They're not moving forward. They're just kind of there. It's a stalemate. They look at you though, like you are dependable, like you were making shit happen. You could be a very earthy person. You could be very grounded. You could have a lot of earth in your chart. This person here, tell me about secret admirer. They are um, in some situation where, where they feel someone has the upper hand or they feel you have the upper hand in some way, Scorpio. Um, they are challenging the status quo here. There's new hope. They have new hope when they watch you. Past, present, future, new perspective, clear vision. This person is starting to get clear on what they want. They could be a Libra, but justice is coming for you. Balance coming for you. They could be accommodating everybody else's needs. In the next one to two weeks, something could happen. Something could have happened uh, September, October-ish. Um, this person here could be a Libra, but guys, they want to literally bring balance. They desire to have, we have harmony and balance many, many times, right? There's new hope here when they watch you, looking at you. They're very hopeful. They're hiding feelings here. They're suppressing the way they feel. They're trying to get centered and balanced. Y'all might live at a distance. Somebody may be vacationing, traveling overseas. They possibly like, they could be from a different country. Um, they could be, but live here or live where you are. Yeah, see, they're hiding their feelings. So it turned it into a stalemate. There's been no further progress. You're, you're kind of just stalling out here. There's opposite forces um, pulling you all um, away. It, that often happens when we're talking about counterpart um, connections. Dark energy, evil, will try to get in between you all. will try to break up your union any way it can. It will be like one thing after the next. There'll be accidents. Someone will lose a job. This will happen. That will happen. Trying to prevent you all from coming into union. Don't ever, ever underestimate the power of dark energy. Um, this person has baggage and burdens. They feel guilt, shame. They feel cursed. Wow. We have regret, guilt, um, clarified by feeling cursed, regret, regret, guilt, shame, burdens, baggage. This person feels weighed down. They feel weighed down. They're trying to make a judgment call. Judgment straight out the dock here. They're going through a rebirth. They want a clean slate. There's been some accident. Like I said, there's been some accident, some shock, some sudden removal. A reckoning is happening in this person's life. The divine could have came in and pulled a tower down. This person here was dealing with somebody who had leverage on them or dealing with somebody that they felt had leverage against them or they tried to have leverage on you. Take it how it resonates. Somebody here was disguising something. Somebody here was putting on a fucking show, was cunning and sly. Now, whether it is your person or a third party, I hope it's not you, Scorpio. I hope you don't, you're not doing this, but somebody here involved is. Somebody here is really 
um, you know, putting on some persona, hiding something. What is this? Tell me about this disguise, this ego. This person here is stealth. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a third party. Somebody they put you in competition with. There's strife. There's conflict. There's tension. They're watching. This person's mentally restless. It definitely could be somebody your person is married to or in a long-term commitment with. Okay. This person could have, your, your person could have got into a long-term commitment with somebody who now has leverage on them, who is, um, threatening them, is telling them, you know, if you leave me, I'm going to take all of your money. If you leave me, I'm going to tell everybody this. I'm going to tell everybody that, right? Conflict, conflict. Um, your person wants a completion here. They're about to take a financial loss if they have to, to get out of a situation. They're watching you, the third party watching them. Now, if this is not a third party lover, this could be some kind of blackmail. Otherwise, don't ever underestimate people who are very um, low vibrational. Okay. Somebody could be trying to blackmail your person. They could be, um, their family could be telling them, um, we're not going to give you any money anymore. We're not going to help you anymore. You're not going to have a place to live anymore. If you go back to Scorpio, somebody here has leverage on your person and it is keeping them from communicating with you. It's making them go back and forth in their mind here. They want to move quickly. This person though, for a lot of you, I feel this person does well for themselves, and they are in a third party and they don't want to lose money or they don't want to lose their children. And, um, if they leave, it's going to be trouble. Um, for others, this person here wants to bring stability into you, wants to commit to you, but is juggling back and forth because somebody in their life is stopping them. Mom, dad, sister, brother, some situation here. Somebody with a huge fucking ego is trying to keep your person or trying to um, have the upper hand in some way. Your person is bragging, telling people about you, telling people how successful you are, how beautiful, how handsome right? How accomplished you are. Tell me about secret admirer. Your person is talking to other people, asking them what they should do because they literally look at you as wish fulfillment. I was just going to say this, this person here. Wow. This energy that I'm channeling today, this person looks at you like you are the end all be all Scorpio. We have wish come true along with wishes fulfilled, happiness, comfort, this person looks at you like you are just the best thing ever. Y'all, they, they even love, I, they even love your flaws. They even love, um, the negative things about you. They know you can bring that stinger out. They know that you have bad things. They know that there's things that you don't always do right, but they love that too. They really do. This is a person here who loves everything about you. This is very beautiful. It's almost it's making me feel like I want to cry. It's a very, very deep love here. Um, but they walked away. They're an escapist. They abandoned this relationship. They withdrew because somebody had the upper hand or they were afraid or you made them feel something. So they started to pull away and they've been hiding their feelings here in deep regret for doing this. They could have moved. They could have relocated. They could have traveled. Um, they definitely cut you out of their life in self-destructive energy in decision. They put delays in between you all. And now they are so worried that you are going to move on and be with somebody else. They're hoping for um, their luck to change here. You could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign. Um, we have Virgo here. We have um, Saturn energy here, Sagittarius here, um, Pisces, um, fixed energy. This person is so burdened. They are very burdened. They could feel like they have too many responsibilities, like their job's too hard, like they have too many, maybe they're, they're a third party is codependent on them and they feel like they can't just leave. They are so burdened. They want to come in and work on things with you. They want to put in the effort here. They want to start working. 
This person could be a Virgo for sure, but they feel like they are, they're backed against the wall in some way. I just heard backed against the wall. There's, there's some, my God, I can't even get a good shuffle here. I'm so worked up. This person here is just feeling like they're a mess. They are just silenced. They're suppressed. Somebody here is suppressing them. Somebody who is cunning and crafty and sly is really affecting your person, is really affecting their, their actions, whether this is family or a lover, it is not good. Your person wants to rip the band-aid off, wants a sudden removal, wants this shit to end. They want to get out of this. It's turned into a stalemate because of them and their actions. They know that you're going to move on at some point, that you can't just sit here and do this. They understand this. Yeah, they want to bring stability. They want something long-term. Again, somebody here does well for themselves. We have a lot of wealth here. Abundance at the very least. Um, Free-flowing money. Um, an entrepreneur or of sorts. Maybe you do something. Um, you know, maybe you have your own business. You don't consider yourself wealthy, but you're comfortable. Maybe um, you know this person does. Somebody here. Something is it definitely happening in Pisces season. A lot of Jupiter and Saturn energy. This this has been a this person's been stuck. They've been stubborn. They have been just sitting around doing absolutely the fuck like nothing just enduring whatever they're going through here, just letting, letting somebody else run the show and, and they can't stand it anymore. They're really um, about to lose their mind. They're really losing it. At, at, they're about to be very determined. I feel like um, I had to take a deep breath because I sense here that you don't even realize how suppressed this person is. I feel like you just feel like this person didn't give you, didn't want what you wanted, didn't want to leave a third party or didn't want to um, commit to you or didn't, but you, you, you have no um, idea what really goes on in this person's life. I'm not standing up for them, but this person here, tell me what they're going to do next, is really suppressed, is really, really in the middle of some crazy thing where they're, you know, they're heartbroken. They've been avoiding having a conversation with you. There's insane chemistry. They're deeply hurt. They feel lost. They could be going through a breakup themselves. They could be actually leaving a third party that has got them feeling weighed down like this. Something, some shock, some upheaval, some shocking news. You're going to hear something. They feel like you are living your life, having fun, moving on, like you're, you're having fun um, with your friends, um, ha enjoying your single life. Um, but there is about to be a sudden shock getting together. You all are going to get together and talk about this. They're looking at your photos. They're watching you. I feel um, there's lack of confidence, there's self-sabotage, there's ego, there's so much jealousy. There's so much jealousy in the energy, y'all. This person's with somebody who is fucking nuts. Like, I'm sorry, but they are. They are with somebody who is, or their family has got to get a life and give this shit up, really. Holy Spirit, please tell me, who is this? Yeah, see, whatever's happening now is going to be short term. This person could be an Aquarius, all right, or something's happening here in Aquarius season. Now we have long term. This person wants to come in and have some kind of long term relationship with you. You could have had a long term relationship with them, family or past connection. I've never seen the card, this card in this deck. Y'all, this person. Literally, there's something with their family. Now we have soulmate. There's something with this person's family that's suppressing them, whether it's somebody they have a family to or their family, right? Maybe there's not even a third party. It's just family suppressing them. I don't know. Somebody has leverage over this person. We have the year of the rooster, 1945, 57, 69, 81, 93, 2005, 2017, 2029. You all are mirroring one another. They want to come in and be nurturing. <laughs> Look, admire again, Leo as well. They want to come in here and be nurturing to you. They want to love you. They want something long-term with you. 
but fear, ego, and jealousy is preventing them from making any moves. I do feel a lot of you, this person is really missing you. They're looking at your pictures. There's so much passion. A lot of you could definitely hear from them at some point here. But for some of you right now in the current energy, it's still this stalemate. This person's just still sitting here watching, waiting, hiding feelings and deep regret. And I feel like there's going to be some sudden um, shocking news that you hear or sh shocking news from them. You know, they could come in here and it's going to be shocking and you all are going to be able to come to a point where you could possibly work on reconnecting. I am willing to put in the work into this connection. I regret not doing so previously. I want to give it to you. So there you go. There's the answer. This person here is willing to put in the work. They want to put in the work now. They're bragging about you. They're your secret admirer. They're hiding feelings. They're in deep regret for whatever they did. But they have got to come out of this situation um, with this blackmail or whatever the hell it is. Something's just not right. Something's not right in the whole the whole thing. Something doesn't feel right to me. They're with somebody who's, you know, batshit crazy, or there's a family member suppressing them. Yeah, they're afraid it's too late to fix things. They feel pressured to make a decision, or at one time they did. They're really focused on their career and finances right now because I feel like they're trying to save up money to get out of a situation. They're giving up way too much. They're tired of sacrificing. They know you're waiting they're waiting they could be they're trying to be hopeful um they know you're in the dark here but they're very focused on work they could um be out here you know they're just not ready to commit they're not ready to commit and look strong influence over your person somebody here has a very strong influence over your person very strong very dominating person, a very dominating person. And I do not like their energy at all. I'm not just gassing you up, Scorpio. I don't want to like whose ever energy this is, who has the upper hand, has leverage over your person. I don't like them. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Wow. <sighs> Guys, have a beautiful and blessed day. Tell yourself every day in every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.